people all over the world it is after e is ed or ing 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 both can fit in i leave it empty and um, on earth dash from earth is a singular he eats something with s comes and creates comes from not creates from and uh, that human miraculous human made material which is a plastic for sure plastics dash they eat something with without s create and fill they fill our ocean makes sense the fill our ocean is an end of a sentence and if you're continuing ing has to come so we have two ing creating and causing you don't um, create health hazard it causes the health hazard causing the health hazard so here it is creating bigger problems so this is gonna be one so one is creating two is comes three is plastic four is fill fifth is causing if you want to solve any reading fill in the blanks with a completely different approach much faster at a lightning speed of course not all the questions but most of the questions are based on grammar and if you know the grammar well in advance and if you master those concepts trust me you can do the same way i did so what you should be doing is watch this video till the end i've incorporated 10 most important grammar techniques grammar shortcuts that you need to know to solve reading fill in the blanks in less than perhaps 30 seconds 40 seconds and even one minute stay tuned till that hey everybody Nakula from skills pt academic i really hope everybody is doing fantastic i'm back with it another video the most important useful uh, video that you guys asked for in the youtube comments yes i am making a video again on 10 important shortcuts grammar shortcuts to solve your reading fill in the blanks recently i did that video um, on similar shortcuts of 10 grammar shortcuts the video is booming it has already got close to 1 lakh views you can have a look at it but today's video is a continuation of that a lot of things that has not been discussed there i have been discussing uh, i'm going to discuss those things in this video the so many shortcuts are there out of it some another 10 more shortcuts in this video here you go so let me just share my screen we'll start with the rule one after apostrophe noun will come remember this golden tip a lot of fill in the blanks will be based on this this is david's car if there is a blank here after apostrophe it will be noun only there cannot be anything else this is it is sushmita's pen ethan's teeth see ethan apostrophe yes if after this verb will not come it will be a noun so if there is a blank after apostrophe your eyes should only go to that option which is a noun let's look at let's look at this example you can pause the video and try doing it and then resume it to understand the marks of gordon is correct ethan is a quirky boy who is not afraid of anything rather ethan can scare anybody because ethan's dash noun has to come faced is a verb greatly is an adverb caro face now face has a twisted nose answer is face so when you know things in advance with respect to grammar it becomes much more easier of course you can do it without grammar but when you know grammar it becomes much more easier this is the rule number one in the end we have got a quiz for 15 questions incorporating incorporating all that 10 tips that i talk about today so make a note of everything so it's a learning it's not just watching today you're gonna learn a lot of things and implement in the end all right we go to the rule number two after has been have been had been verb sorry on that verb plus ing will come she has been working i have been taking classes since five and a half years she has been operating for 10 days hope you're getting it after has been have been had been you use this ing so whenever the, you see this has been have been had been dash is there go to that option where you find ing ed can come verb 3 we will see in the next rule for example pause the video and do it once done resume the video john has been dash on his project for months john has been give work ruled out so here after has been giving working or work gave us to, given us to come this to ruled out john has been dash on his project for months he has been working on his projects and john has been taking on responsibilities take the responsibility correct so has been taking so when you know things in advance with respect to grammar knowledge you can eliminate few things which actually come in between which actually don't do anything but confuse you can just eliminate them and just look into ing ing and you're gonna get it at a lightning speed we go to the rule number three the continuation of the previous one after has been had been have been verb three can also come eat 
8 eaten eaten is a verb 3 eat is verb 1 8 is verb 2 verb 3 is eaten so after has been had been have been ing can come verb 3 can also come it has been developed this is verb 3 she has been operated by quality doctors verb 3 the previous we saw verb ing here we seeing verb 3 let's take one example so you're learning and you're implementing you're learning you're implementing pause the video try doing it and then once done resume it to understand what mistakes you've done the garden has been after has been a verb three tended or watered here after have been verb three tended watered nutritional look is gone case eliminated the garden has been carefully watered all season the plants have been water to ensure healthy and vibrant so both of them go with the water tended is to look after the garden has been looked after all season how the plants have been watered this has been given the manure that these plants have been watered will be the second one not the first one here context also matters but garden has been tended the plants have been watered to ensure they're healthy and vibrant as a result garden of bursting with color and life so one is tended two is watered but the point is nutrition and look cannot interfere in your focus you're concentrating on something just concentrate on only verb 3 or verb ing the other things are just eliminated that's where you actually save a lot of time we go to the rule number four after has have had we saw has been have been had been now we see just has have had i have eaten i have studied i have sung many songs i have driven this car I have taught many students verb three only will come nothing else will come hundred percent she has driven he had beaten verb three verb three so after has have had if you have a blank go to that option which is verb three now we have the sun has pause the video and then resume it after doing it verb three verb three so now we need verb three verb three verb three came is not a verb three come is a verb one came is a verb to come is a verb three they have come chirped is a verb three sung is a verb three arrived is a verb three set is a verb three set 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 he sets me he set me yesterday not setted set 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 for all and settled is a verb three now three options three answers just find out the sun sets on the horizon horizon correct a sense of calm has arrived probably is not there has settled over the world probably is the correct answer the birds have chirped their final songs of the day hope you are getting it it's actually actually simple the birds chirping is the ching, 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 the birds make the sound right those ones the birds have chirped their final songs of the day sense of calm has arrived arrived or settled over the world the sun has set on the horizon Hope you are getting it, you are learning and you are implementing. Rule number five, after is, was, am, are, were, verb three will come. Be very careful. He is killed by police. This is a passive form. I've made a video on active voice, passive voice. Just have a look at it in my channel is there. He has killed after has, verb three will come. He is killed by someone. This is a passive form. The police kills him. In other words, he is killed by police. This is an active voice, passive voice. So after he is, was, am, are, were, verb three can come. They are welcomed by new people. See, after R, verb three is there. Be very careful. So now we take a question, pause the video and do it, and then resume to understand what mistakes you have done. So we need after he is, verb three has to come. This is verb three, verb three, verb three. After is verb three, after is verb three. So these two are actually ruled out. The house is dash with exquisite taste. Knuckle getting confused. Leave it empty. Continue every piece of furniture is carefully dash and placed. You have carefully placed and you have carefully chosen. Is it it so? So this is gonna be second. The kitchen is dash with e appliances or equipment. It is equipped with. 3 going to be equipped, 2 going to be chosen, the first one, the house is decorated with exquisite taste. Sometimes it's going to be tricky, you need to rely on the context as well, but mostly the grammar will help you, all the blanks will not be based on grammar, grammar will actually help you. Alright, let's go to the rule number 6, rule number 6, after is, was, am, are, were, we just discussed that, but after them, it's not just the verb 3, verb in the ing can also come. She is killed, 
she is driving she was driving he is running he is teaching ing can also come remember they are welcoming him a very easy peasy method to when a sentence ends and full stop is not used repeat i repeat this is a sentence that ended i went to a hotel full stop right no i don't want to add a full stop i want to continue then add a connector no i don't want to add a connector i want to still continue then add ing i went to a hotel thinking about her hope you are getting it so when a sentence ends and full stop is not used connector is not used use ing look at this sentence the same sentence as before the house is decorated with exquisite taste every piece of furniture is carefully chosen and placed end of a sentence every piece of furniture is carefully chosen and placed end of a sentence but i want to continue but i don't want to use a connector then use ing i'm telling you this is the most useful tip a lot of blanks will be based on this in our course there are probably more than 10000 questions like this there are more than 40 hours of grammar shortcut sessions and 700 mocks to implement the same so any time you need online assistance feel free to text us in the whatsapp we will be able to guide you and show you that success path a lot of people don't join because they have time they can research on their own and do it but those who do not have much time to do all these things they can just join the course everything is just set you just follow it this course will automatically follow ing will come not just that you see the next sentence is the walls are adorned with art adding color and personality the walls are adorned with art end of a sentence i went to a hotel end of a sentence but i want to continue use ing the kitchen is equipped with state of the art appliances end of a sentence making cooking and training a breeze hope you hope you are able to relate we go to the rule number eight i have told in many videos but still people wanted me to explain more on adverbs see so there is a noun noun is like a monkey it keeps on doing some action to represent the action you have a verb he eats he dances he does something but there is a noun and it has a characteristic he is fair he is good he is decent he is polite so now you got a noun you got a verb and adjective to represent a character you have a nomenclature called adjective to represent its action you have a nomenclature called verb there's one more third layer we finished the first layer noun second and the third second layer so that is um, adjective and verb the third layer is adverb which further explains the second layer which is adjective and the verb he is good he is extremely good he eats quickly so this adverb comes in the third layer has a link to the adjective or a verb not a noun he eats quickly he is good he is extremely good this adverb ends in ly so during your fill in the blanks whenever you sense adverb has to come then go to that option which ends in ly Hope you are getting it. See here, the house is decorated with exquisite taste. Each for each piece of furniture is chosen. Verb, addition to a verb, adverb, adverb ends in ly. The kitchen is equipped with equipped is a verb, and largely is an adverb. Like I told you, adjective, verb, adverb, adverb ends in ly. So whenever you have a dash and you think, hey, adverb has to come here. This is a verb. addition to a verb add verb this is an adjective addition to an adjective add verb then go to that option which has ly that will be your answer listen to this do it on your own pause the video and then resume it to understand about the explanation she walked walked is a verb addition to a verb add verb has to come and birds chirped chirped is a verb that doing some action addition to a verb add verb has to come the wind blew blue is some action addition to a verb adverb has to come now sweet quick uh, ruled out these three something like this will not come where every blank is based on adverb i have given it for your sake for your understanding so now let's understand the context she walked down the quiet street she walked deliberately she walked gently she walked loudly you cannot walk loudly rather you can shout louder isn't it the birds chirped loudly the wind blows gently the word gentle gently goes with the word wind so this is going to be three she walked deliberately down the quiet street uh, so this is going to be one get the context i'm telling you context also matters the most along with the grammar okay we go to the rule number 9 subject verb agreement i'm telling you this is the big boss your essay summarized written text summarized spoken text reading fill in the blanks reading writing fill in the blanks listening fill in the blank right from dictation 
all the questions mostly will be based on subject verb agreement and you know this rule you are the winner man trust me on this in our session subject verb agreement itself around 5 to 6 hours there is a 2 hour of knowledge sharing that is the the concepts and then exercises so here as well i am try to share as much as i can singular noun takes s form in the verb what it means he is a verb sorry noun rather sorry he is a noun eat is a verb he eat is wrong he eats but they eats is wrong they eat if it is singular the verb will take s if it is plural the verb will not take s so now the ship ship is singular add s the ships is like they eat he eats they eat strike the judge is singular yes will come they is plural s will not come sharmila is one person s will come hope hope you are getting it so this is the thing subject verb agreement plays a very important role now let's solve this try to pause the video pause the video and do it on your own and then resume it to understand have you got answer out of 3 <coughs> the team is singular singular something s will come challenges is plural s will not come and the findings could potentially findings is plural s will not come for the first one the verb ending with s comes so now work is ruled out collaborates risks works only these three can fit in the team dash collaboratively team collaborates collaboratively <laughs> risks collaboratively the team works collaboratively so when you know the things you can eliminate other options you can do it a lightning speed this is what exactly i'm talking about they dash regularly after they verb without s work save meet they work regularly to discuss their progress they meet it's all about collaboration in the previous line so they meet regularly so this is going to be second one they know that their findings could potentially dash lives findings they plural plural will not take us right something without us they eat they work they save could potentially work lives or save lives you decide um the third one is risks cannot come risk can come risks cannot come because findings is plural by the way first one is works the team works second is they meet third one is could potentially save lives hope you are understanding rule number 10 is most important most nice rule actually very simple rule article concept in our course article itself is around 2 hours uh, video plus the live class but here i'm going to give you a trailer of it if there is a word and and there is a blank you need to use the word which starts with its sound as a e i o u an apple apple is not a sound it is a sound an apple elephant is a sound an elephant hope you are getting it and takes a e i o u pronouncing sounds and dash and dash after an if there is a dash you need to go with that particular word that has a pronouncing sound in the range of a e i o u don't forget it don't forget it simple one very simple one so here you can pause the video and do it and then resume to understand if you have gotten the correct answer after an beautiful cannot come final cannot come after an beautiful cannot come final cannot come it is an end session that came to an end it is an accelerating means vibrant energetic session that came to an end the idea is very simple guys using this method you can actually eliminate things eliminating the things that actually don't matter but only confuse you you can just eliminate them and start doing it and now we are at the end of the video let's take actual questions and try to solve them using the 10 grammar shortcuts i've got three questions let's do it quickly all right this is the first question probably you can take 2 minutes most of them are based on grammar not more than 2 minutes put a timer and do it and once done resume it to understand the mistakes you have done after have verb 3 will come have observed have developed have compared have developed the systems man you don't have compared systems and machines that can make sense but if you see technological development the previous lines is development have developed systems and machines that dash our machines is plural they they make or they makes they make i need without s without s only one word verb without s they make our lives better especially du during the early modern period answer for this is here from this 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 to this 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 simple isn't it this is a different rule it's okay and the last 
18th century, now we came to the past tense, okay. The scientific revolution of the enlightenment, modern technology is like a noun. He ate yesterday. The modern technology, we need a verb in the second form. The modern technology, dash ahead, went ahead in development. Huge progress happened. Went ahead, we need a verb. Observed ahead is wrong. Compared ahead is wrong. It's leapt ahead. Leap, leapt. It's like taking a big step. So, this gonna be the fourth in such a short time frame. Dash 2 is a collocation which is compared to. Not a difficult one, trust me. Few of them are based on the grammar that I taught you today. The first one is humans have developed systems that make our lives better. Mm -mm. And then especially during the early modern period, from the early 16th century, the modern technology went ahead, leapt ahead. Uh, in such a short frame compared to all of history. Keep a track of the mistakes you've done. We go to the next question. This is purely based on uh, collocations and grammar. By the way, if you want more videos on collocations, do comment. Oh, we have a lot of collocations already in our course. Probably one or two uh, things of it. I can put it here. Probably half an hour video, one hour video. That definitely helps you, helps you understand the reality about collocations, how to learn them and everything. Alright, so don't take more than two minutes for this. Please pause the video, solve it and then resume it to understand what mistakes you've done. One thing uh, says humans have never been able to, after two, verb in the base form will come to eat, to write, to sing, to dash, to understand, to allocate. There are only two verb in the base form. One thing uh, says humans have never been able to understand. Always having an, after an, a E I O U pronouncing sound unexplained is already there. But one more thing, an apple, a noun will come. So here, an unexplained, some noun will come. Unexplained stars, unexplained mystery. Always having an unexplained mystery. Hope you are getting it because never been able to fully understand means it is mysterious. Hope you are getting it. Having an unexplained mystery, astronomy also has. After has, what has to come? Rule number five, verb three. Verb 3 will come. You have served and amazed. Served as is a collocation, not amazed as. Served as. Astronomy has served as a way to keep time. So, this is going to be 3 served as and predict the future. The word astronomy is defined as the study of heavenly bodies. I told you the last rule, remember that, right? There is a sentence ending, but no full stop. Not even a connector, but they are continuing. Add, add. ING. The word astronomy is defined as study of heavenly bodies, end of a sentence. But the person continues, so you need to have ING. Meaning is the only ING. So, this is where grammar helps. I am not understanding anything. The context is so difficult. Go with the grammar, use ING. So, this is going to be the fourth. Hope you are getting it. And then we have after R. Verb 3 will come. Remember the rule number 4 or rule number 5 is am, r ver. Verb 3 will come or verb ing. He is killed. I told you passive voice. After r, verb 3, only amazed is left. So, this is going to be verb 3. You can solve it. Just need a bit of time. That's it. And when you know these things, you can solve at a lightning speed. Trust me on this. The first is understand. Second is unexplained mystery. Third is has served as. Fourth is ing will come meaning. And the fifth is are amazed. All right, not take much of your time. We go to the last question, a very simple one. Try doing it in one minute. Let's see if you can get it mostly based on subject verb agreement and R, E, S, A, M, verb 3, those concepts. Pause the video, do it, and then resume it to understand what mistakes you've done. All right, environment is the invisible hand, environment that he eats. Environment is like he, verb with S has to come, develops shapes. You shape someone's character, you shape someone's behavior, you don't develop. Environment is the invisible hand that develops human behavior, that shape, it gonna give a shape to our behavior. Isn't it so? So, the first one gonna be that shapes human behavior. We tend to believe our habits are ye is there. If you want to use the word addition, remember an addition, I just tweak the concept. If an is there, addition will come. If ye is there, addition cannot come. Ye addition, an addition, a product. Multiplication of 2 into 4 into 5. 
motivation into talent into effort. Hope you are getting it are a product of our motivation, talent and effort. Certainly and your personal characteristics, characteristics is like they, subject verb agreement, they eat, I need the verb without s, tend is the verb, apply is the verb, your personal characteristics, apply to get overpowered, tend to get overpowered, isn't it so, so there is going to be three, use grammar, I am telling you it is very easy and after verb, verb 3 or ing will come, ing is not there but verb 3 talented, if only one verb 3 man, then you do not need to read answer is talented, 100 percent. And the last one that you need to operate in an environment that accelerates rather than environment that environment is he, he who accelerates or he who rather than I need something with this accelerates your results rather than something with this develops them accelerating accelerating is positive i want something negative that is hinders hope you are getting it so the answers are first is that shapes second is product third is tend to get fourth is more talented and the fifth is that hinders not a difficult one you could have gotten at 15 out of 15 not a difficult one um, trust me on this i really hope this video made sense do leave a comment as to how much marks you have got if you've got let's say 10 or 9 next time i'm gonna come up with much easier questions so that you gain that confidence if everyone has got 15 i'm gonna come up with a little difficult tricky question so that you actually understand and learn things better if you want more videos something like this do leave a comment i'm again telling you because i'm gonna see the comments watch the comments and then make a video something similar to that so this is knuckle signing off um, from skillspedia academy and hold on if you missed my recent video on essay template shocking news do watch the video here you will have a lot of insights about what is working what is not working in 2023 with respect to your pt essay this is knuckle signing off from skillspedia academy soon i'll be back till then take care keep watching skillspedia bye bye